Hello YouTube, in this video tutorial I will show you how to install and configure eGit for Eclipse. Now if you try and run Eclipse after you set it up, especially the C slash C++ CDT developer version, you'll see you'll get a warning screen. And it's basically saying eGit cannot be found because it's not included with the default installation for this version of, of Eclipse. So here's the thing, eGit e cannot be detected where Git is installed. Go ahead and click OK and say and ask about your home variable. Just click OK. Now let me go exit out of all of these and go ahead and click help and install new software. This will bring up a window and you're going to say work with type or select a site. So go to Internet Explorer or Chrome, whatever you use to browse the internet and go to eclipse.org forward slash egit forward slash and here's the egit page go ahead and click download now it's gonna show the main repository which is what you want so go ahead and right click and copy the link address go ahead and open up eclipse right click paste click add name we'll just name it egit click OK now it's gonna say pending go ahead select both of them select all click next it's going to check dependencies and we're gonna click next this is the EULA then user license agreement go ahead click accept and finish. It's going to install the back the software. You can choose to run it in the background always, run it in the background now, but I'll leave it on for now. Now with this you can use it with any git and source version control methods um, especially if you're working with um, multiple people or need to branch out from another git project. So we'll let that run and you're going to need to restart Eclipse. Go ahead and select yes. Now eGit cannot detect where Git is installed. Now you need to configure the directory under team get git and the home variable. So we need to edit the preferences of git, so go ahead and run window, preferences, team, git. Now you're going to get down here and you're probably going to have to open this up and now you're going to go under configuration. And you're going to see two things. One is a key and one is a value. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to add an entry. And the key is going to be user.email. And you're going to enter your email. So I'm going to enter my email. There you go. Now you're going to add another entry. You're going to say user dot name. You're going to enter your name. Click OK. Click Apply. And here you see user, which is good. And you can see I get my email and my name added. Go ahead and click OK. Now we've completed step one. Now you may have also noticed that it asks about the home environment path. Now to fix this, we click start and go ahead and search environment. Oops, if I can spell it right. Uh, edit the environmental variables for your account. Click that. Now go ahead and select new. And in the name field, we're going to add home, in all caps. Now in the variable value, you're going to add in user profile with um, the percentage marks. 
go ahead and click OK. You can see it's now in there. Now go ahead and click OK again. Now go ahead and click File. And you're going to click Restart. Now you're also going to need Git. So go ahead and go to Git SCM and get the download for window. Say so your download is starting and run the installation. Go ahead and run the installation. Click next. Accept the GNU JPL. Next. Now you're gonna have some settings in here. You have Windows Explorer integration. Um, I leave that on. It, you can edit these in however way you want. I know some people may not want the integration with Windows Explorer. I just leave it. Go ahead and click next. Uh, shortcut with the following text. Get now path environment. Um, this sort of depends how you want it. Use bash just because it won't uh, conflict with other system settings. Use this, Windows style, commit Unix style. Go ahead and let it install. Now, you can, you don't really need to use, read the release notes, so click finish. Now, so you still get this error message when you try to run it. It's because Git could not be found. So click OK and exit the program. And if you restart it, it should go away. If it doesn't, you have to edit the preferences to where you installed Git. So let Eclipse start up. And if everything is fine, you should have been successful. If not, you have to manually add it. So see, like with me, it requires me to manually add it. So go ahead, go into Window, Preferences, Team, Git, and you're going to try and find Configuration, System Settings, go ahead click Browse, and more often than not, it's going to be under Computer, C, Program Files 86, and just look for the git folder. Go ahead, click OK. You'll see it should have added everything. Click OK. Click File. Restart. Now everything should be fine. It's a pretty lengthy process. Um, it takes about 10 minutes. So, but other than that, it requires installing third-party software git. But it's all open source and it's all compatible with each other so everything should now be fine. You set your home variable to user profile which is HP right here and you'll see I have my workspace the git config and when you do actually start um, cloning from repositories it may add a git folder also just to let you guys know. So congratulations you just successfully set up egit, git with bash and your home directory.